So I will be showing more than talking less, than maybe, but <laughs> safer for me. But uh, what you see on this image is actually what happens with me. I, I use drawing as language and uh, I try to document the, uh, my, my being here and now. So translate actually the uh, uh, the material into materiality of line to try to translate the um, energy in the time uh, space. And to, to, to make it happen, I have to develop language. It would be simple, but uh, um, to allow me to actually work in, in such a complex uh, uh, thing like reality, which is impossible to define. So some kind of uh, statement is here, but we already said that, and part of one of my drawing. Oh. But what I do actually, how, how I try to do this, what I'm saying, how I try to document this every moment of, of, of me being here now, is I try to, through the senses, I use sense of, of, of sight, of course, mainly, but it's really actually absorb what is around us and then the brain takes these uh, um, signals from outside and then composes it in, 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 into the, um, in the interpretation of reality. But it's always interpretation, it's never translation. So every moment and for everybody is different. So every, this, this, there's multiple of realities which are impossible actually to compare the graph and make something to be equal or something like that more or less that it would be it. It's not it, it's nothing, or everything, or everything in it would be nothing. So I, I, what I do, I actually draw what I see, always, but I draw it uh, concentrating on looking at and drawing the first thing which my eye notates. So it's the ground, that I, I look somewhere in some kind of direction and see the shape and draw it. Shape and the plus and the shape, and, and I don't work with uh, some kind of um, from some kind of, 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 of one point, like that would be classical way of drawing and see if you have this panoramic view, and then you in, in create the, the image of what you see in front of your eye. The importance of and the importance for me is just to concentrate on, on the behavior. Not only on looking and seeing some kind of image. It's 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 actually that when we exist, we, we move, we uh, smell, we see, we uh, uh, use many senses and also mechanics of the body to actually to, as as beings to to to, to absorb what is around, but also to find ourselves possibly in. Uh, to find ourselves that truth exists. Mm -hmm. So that's how I draw. I and mean, this is this is going to be a series of, of, of drawings which are actually made, the photographs were made in every uh, 15 minutes of uh, uh, one panel of large uh, drawing. I, I work usually in large scale because the drawings they just draw and draw and draw. I try to, to um, treat my practice as one large drawing and everything compiles and, 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 and stretches and, and, and uh, produces some kind of fabric of drawing. So this is one drawing and that's, that will be four hours drawing because I work with time, as I said. So my drawings are composed of the time and space, so the situation in which I draw, but also they are very much time dependent. So let's, let's say I would say I would draw in this, this panel four hours and it composes of uh, the, the work composes of 72 panels so it will be 312 12 hours documented in this drawing so 312 hours of my life will be translated into materiality of line of this drawing that's it so the drawing was made through a tiny space of our house up and down and I was moving backwards and forwards and sideways and actually with the clock 
drawing each final for four hours because the time is important. Then this one is a large installation which was made. You see this drawing on uh, the, the photograph on the bottom that the, the work was made in, in our private space. Then we are moving between Perth and actually uh, relocating from Perth to Melbourne. And that was through these personal spaces, the drawing of made within two years of, of some kind of period of shift. And it was destined to uh, cover completely uh, a wall of Helen Maxwell Gallery in Canberra, using a made to measure a, a plan, which very rarely happens in my case, but I wanted to cover the wall. The wall was important, and I wanted to make a statement that for me, the wall is like a border of vision, a horizon. And everything on the on the left. Because the important here is that I'm also a trained as printmaker. And uh, my major was printmaking and then I was drawing, but in Australia I did just swap. Because of <laughs> because of difference of life and, and practices here. So the drawing to cover completely. But I still somehow think in, in I think in, in this category of printmaking that everything overlaps on something. So our energy overlaps on something on the I'm making a, a print here on the on the floor because my energy of is imprinted on this floor now and it will stay there even if I go. So this is just this printing, imprinting is happening all the time and everywhere. And if, if, if we think about objects, all these objects they they somehow they if you squeeze the slices, if you if you if you may make slices of these space from here to the wall and then you slide them. So this is the skin of the wall, I call it drawing like that, and then uh, that was first, uh, first actually an um, in, uh, incarnation of this drawing happening in Canberra for my exhibition at the Maxwell. And then for many years I was looking for a place where actually this drawing could be completed, which means that the, to take the, the skin of that wall and place it on some other wall, which would be much bigger than a uh, Maxwell wall. Never have been in Australia, but I was offered this wall at uh, the gallery at the University in Western Washington State in the US. The director of the gallery said, Come and show us this, and also have the residence on exhibition. So that's what happened, and that's so you could say that this job actually took six years to develop because Helen Maxwell first, and then I had to look for. So, so many years to find a place to, to, to show it in, in, as a scheme, like a snake. So that's the close-up. You can see shapes, rules, and also wallpaper, because wallpaper is kind of a scheme. You can pass for the, you know, the image of the wall and what is uh, under it. And, 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 and here you can see how it was shown at Helen Maxwell, where the pictures and features of the wall were there. And then there is this residency and exhibition, so I did another performative work there. And this one, what you see, these objects, they are uh, furniture covered with pieces of fabric. And I call these works uh, dust covers because there's this kind of uh, custom between people that when they go away, they cover furniture with uh, cloth to protect the furniture. But also, what happens then if you leave it for longer, then the dust. Gathers on the on the fabric, and then the dust works like time, you know. And particles of dust they live consistently of this time, and then a place they are placed on the on the fabric, and then they, they produce this registry. So what I do, I actually make this dust kind of image using drawing. So that is this uh, series of of uh, furniture which were from the uh, university's furniture collection and the director of the gallery and also curator of the, this collection she allowed me to use some of them and use them for the, with my uh, work. I work with many classes of students then. Even the one class was performing the ballet dancing in front of my videos and I make animations of some uh, which is also drawing. Uh, so I made this, this works where students were coming, so all these colors they actually come not from 
something you feel like uh, liking the color or making the color composition, but actually they are structured to show different things which are happening over over time. Every class is represented here with different colors. So when they come to a pattern bed, I was with the same color that you draw in, in their presence. And when I was on my own, I was using the color. So that's the dust cover on the object and then taken off. So you can see I love it during this process because when the, the, the fabric covers the, the object, you can see the state shape. Something is hidden under, but if it, when you take it, you take it off, this is completely unexpected and very uh, weird, very often unique, which actually gives chance to a lot of imagination, even though I don't use imagination because I, I work on new topics. <laughs> <laughs> imagination, but that's what I mean. <laughs> Here. That's another uh, dust cover. That's the uh, art gallery of, of uh, National Gallery of Australia, the Lama performance with children and people. You know, they were actually somehow drawing influenced by what I was doing, but I was actually uh, drawing the dust, human dust cover, because one of the of, of the series which come to art is connected with dust cover. This is uh, covering the, the human beings with fabric and drawing. No, so this way actually is, is connected in the gallery, and uh, it's a series where I work with um, iconic uh, paintings or works of art. Here we've got the trial by Sidney Nolan, it's in the Matt Kelly series, and I decided to bring to life Matt Kelly in the form of a uh, real person who took a part of, of, of Matt Kelly, and I was actually. Uh, recreating the energy, the light energy, which was somehow in the past uh, um, imagined by 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 uh, Nolan, but then they uh, bring brought to life by my uh, way of drawing. So everything what you see is actually in, in a, a large scale of the real you know, painting. And all the shapes and, 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 and structure is, is actually a large structure of the painting, but made in, in, in the way how I draw. So all shapes, all, all actually lines, they come from, from either my surrounding or gallery where the performance is happening on the left hand body. This is it. This is it. Let's have a car. It was in uh, our friends. Uh, across and George, was father and George Parkin, they passed away, uh, unfortunately. But our dear friends here in Melbourne, they invited us for three days uh, over the Christmas, and, and uh, we they were doing their work upstairs in the, in the apartment, and, and I and my husband, who always works with me, he's my assistant, and takes all these photos. So I was drawing, he was documenting, and, and that's, that's our friend's car. <laughs> Esky, that's why it's Esky just now. So that's how it looks. It looks a little bit like a frog, I think, because the linen, the linen, uh, the height of the linen was uh, not enough to cover the entire part. So what happened, I, I was drawing first on one side, the linen finishes there, and then I had to pull the linen to the other side. That's why the, the car has no roof, it's just the, the windows of the lap. <laughs> and and the chair is from the uh, my residency in New York, the Australia Fancy. I actually converted converted all studio into the art work. <laughs> Immersive drawing space. This is the residency at Sophia Melbourne for weeks and that was performance and drawing installation like during two weeks of, of, of Endless coffees and teas at this <laughs> softest lounge. People were invited to come and, and, and join me at the table and have like, coffee before free, but it was not otherwise. So if they join, they, they got this coffee or tea, but they, no one paid for anything. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, and there was also a French day at the time, and people were coming, and, and not so many people asked questions actually, but they were very intrigued. So that's, that's how it looked after two weeks of 
of the clusters, which is of, of, of plates and, and, and cups, the objects which imprint that, that presence there. And bodies, because I, when I grow in this kind of situation, I grow around the bodies. I think it's something I could look at those and then draw the eyes from the ear, for example. <laughs> This is my performance, which is actually uh, the first room, uh, the room without the view. And I, um, I constructed, I created this series of performances in opposition to my very socially uh, engaged practice, because usually I am like within the situation, I am about some kind of institution or the place. And, and I can draw on, on, on something or on the wall or on glass and, and, and everything is happening around me and people come and talk to me or just they pass by. So there's things happening. But here I decided to actually work against it. I enclose myself in this cube where in the inside this cube it was this room, three by three, more or less by three. A little bit different, but just you know. And then I was drawing without anyone being present. So I didn't put time on it to document from time to time. He was very angry that he couldn't be there. But that was about uh, actually um, occupying the space with no uh, stimulus processes. So this it was actually uh, addressing also this kind of uh, punishment systems in, 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 in prisons and, and other institutions where people who were uh, disobedient, they were actually And the institution was justified that in the way that people, when they are enclosed without any contact with other human beings or without too many objects, they actually start to meditate and, and calm down, which is actually a complete rubbish of what mm -hmm. happens with the human mind. They uh, will become more and more angry and angry, and, 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 and that is completely opposite uh, uh, result from the intended one. So I was trying to. Even within this few hours of the day, because of course that was at my field, the university, you can't stay there for mm -hmm. 24 hours. I would like to, but for security reasons, it's impossible. It's impossible. So I just was using the daytime to be there, going from the toilet and back, and then drawing what I see. It was not much to see because it was empty room, with stairs, and my body. So that was what I was drawing. But what happened? With this performance, I, I, I drew all the see, but then, because the drawing was building up and up and up, uh, the drawing became the reality, became reality uh, uh, that, uh, which I was looking and I was drawing my own on drawing again and again. The drawing, I started to actually live inside my drawing, and the, the drawing built itself into this kind of Component of reality. Mm -hmm. Let's see mm -hmm. closing the, the drawing. This little yellow thing there is an apple. I always with this rose have an apple with me and eat it during the process. And people couldn't see working. With this work they can't. And what happened? I, there is camera there, uh, also there is laptop those like uh, through the internet. And people could walk, can watch me outside on the screen. And that is another element of intimidation, you would say, because you know, being there and close, that you are watched, but you have no idea what actually what is said, how, or how is the reaction of outside. And, and you know that you are watched, so you have to. It's quite difficult to, 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 to control yourself to the extent that you know you might do something strange. And be watched <laughs> at the same time. That, that was another element. So, see, this is the, the thing which is of how the, the room looks like after 17 days. Okay. That's another room which happened in the, uh, the uh, room without the view uh, extended, but it's been at the art center. And in 2015, and I was invited to. To grow in the, one of the uh, rooms of this previous hospital for women, women in a 
just in Australia. I was in the art centre, they gave me uh, one room. First, I had to block the view of people, so that when there was this um, screen outside to open, I had the uh, cameras inside, but the doors, they had glass, so I just had to block the view during the first day. Of course, you can't actually grow so dense on glass that nothing could be visible, so people were trying <laughs> to find clothes to see what's happening. That's it's actually so interesting how people are curious. Amazing. You can say, oh, you can't, you can't do this, or you can't do that. It would be even more, um, probably, it, it would cause more action from others than, 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 than stop anybody from doing it. <laughs> so the room was 5 by 5 by 10, quite large, and I spent 24 days in there. This, this lamp, which is in the middle, more or less in the middle, is actually on the, on the, on the on my natural hand side. So, during the last day when everything was removed from the room, I was walking around the room and, and drawing from the, from the level of my hand. Because I had this kind of, of position on the reaction to the end. That's another series, um, translation, it's where the instruction drawing series. That's where I translate um, text into drawing using pictographs uh, uh, constructed from the, the, the fabric of some other drawings. So here is the, the uh, very, very thin kind of fragment of, of the room without the view, and large. And it's uh, a letter, it represents a letter T, so it's a pictogram. And then I, I make them in these pictograms into the um, uh, stencils and then uh, create the instruction for the maker. This is a different university, a gallery of exhibition where I made these three works. One was made by actually, according to this kind of instruction like on the top, by the, uh, the gallery. They can University gallery staff, one was made by myself, and then the, the third one, this color one, is actually a concrete poetry uh, where for five, four days I was working with the uh, community in the, in the university. <coughs> and we asked everybody to donate words, <coughs> so it was like a part of both people were coming and donating their, their words, and then every day I was actually taking two words from the box and translating them into the this web on the right is a expert from Italo Palino, Cosmic Comics, Sign in Space, a web which I, this is my favorite text, and my favorite writer. And the, the Deacon piece was a small talk of the Deacon University. That the, this works actually, they don't work on the like an instruction drawing that we call instruction for the maker, like what I tell you can do. But I also make instruction for the viewer. So you, the viewer, visitors to the gallery, they, they get this instruction in form of booklet. They get an image of the book, <coughs> and on the top you see you've got this alphabet. The, the, the pictograms plus letters, and then you can actually, in these circles on the bottom, you can look the side with the drawing. So you can, um, from the translation, you can, you can actually extract the text. But I think that everything in life is translated, so this translation is an important language. This is the, my latest in, instruction drawing in large installation of scripture. <laughs> but it's very interesting, very, very complex, uh, such a complex and nice gallery there, and they were making this uh, um, drawing exhibition for the summer time and inviting me to make uh, installation work. So that was it. That's again, we have a invisible cities. Mm -hmm. 
the work is more or less the same, even if it's going to work. And I was working with seven assistants first time, and it was amazing. <laughs> but I was really stressed that maybe because I don't work with assistants, this my, my way going is so a uh, translation of my energy that uh, no assistant can actually help the, 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 the part of making the preparing the materials for me or something like that. But with the instruction learning, of course, you see different. You have to, have to validate the work. So in this case, I thought this is seven games and there were actually an extraordinary. So we made it and it was really, really good experience. This is my, my, my most popular series, the drawing from glass. So uh, this is uh, Singapore Pin 2011. The drawing was on the window and on this kind of uh, industrial wall. The office that's the windows so of Haram, all Haram Airport in Singapore. And of course, the language and the system is the same, but in, in, in with the uh, case of, of, of um, drawing from glass, everything is increases and overlaps because it is view from the outside and then there are different inside and then these two layers come close together. That's uh, Twelve comma and the drawing from the entrance and two actually was uh, the entrance wall and then this one behind it. So you can see the move move the draw the drawing was actually mobile because of five sheets of the inside and so that's the thing. People were coming and going and I was going to be still up with all this movement, and it was blocked off of close. And behind it you can see there's another wall. That's the process. And that's how the window opened at night. There's a money. So the, over there, it was a very interesting situation where someone could come inside and there was two sheets of, of, of drawing over and then two the other sheets on the second and so that came together. That's the one of the fragments. Because here I also use my body <laughs> so I was just thinking every, every day different for this uh, campaign of, of, of self-presentation to others because this kind of, of performance is like, you know, like you will be actually exposed and, 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 and showing yourself like, like mannequins in the, sh in the shop from <laughs> while making the work. People look at you almost like a big figure that you have to be conscious. That's most ordinary. The biggest uh, work on glass in that case, over 250 square meters of, of drawing in 21 days of the process. That's, that's one part, and that was the number that was all behind it, and 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 this part makes beautiful uh, location in Manish, where from 19th, beginning of 19th century, so it's a lot of art. Um, a lot of history and reflections. And the, the drawing was done during the, the installation of the Binai, when the Binai was building around the Arise on the first day, when they moved into the, the, the space, and then the people were coming, the objects were coming, the installation was coming, the exhibition was building, and I was actually documenting. Um, 
might say the And that's a uh, cross growing in the MSK again, so Mesa will find out in the end in the ice cube. We call this cube behind this end grounds because they're of the elements in the end and then and, and the wind that calls so the perfect thing to know in the cube right now. Mm -hmm. And we call them the same design and call this ice cube. That's Right. So, what happens do they just all get cleaned well, off? Yes, yes, yes. My, my drawing, drawing on, on the walls and, and glasses is not in the right. I like it because you know, it's, uh, nothing is forever. Really. Even something like this, they didn't keep the glass and then they reassemble it. Because this, this, this pigment pen is not permanent on glass, nothing is permanent on glass, ah. glass on glass mm -hmm. except the. the, the Know, some lasting, uh, some mm -hmm. kind of specific like uh, other uh, you know, the, the techniques. But if you draw, it can be scratch, it can be what you know, can be in the moment. But uh, apparently, I got this uh, a message on, on Instagram two days ago. I got this kind of uh, um, the artist who likes my web there, and he's from Brussels, and he went to get to see the. the happened with them. He sent me the series that the drawing is still there and I made it in 2015. It's supposed to be there for a year. They don't so of course if you want to keep it you can't wash the glass. Because it's it hard yeah. so the pigment is quite hard. But of course the, the glass will be dirty some, somehow. You, well, what you can do is now uh, only dust it mm. or and of course wash on the other side. So this is it. I'm surprised. <laughs> that's the top of the mm -hmm. And that's what actually the result of from that. This is a, a scarf and a, a tie. So the scarf is uh, the tie that is a little bit and a scarf and it's, it's uh, uh, designed. It was a merchandise for which I was asked to, to, to produce the design. That this scarf and the tie is actually was made for security guards in the museum. Mm. <laughs> and the drawing comes from fragments of the uh, swipe part from fragments of, of my installation there, from photographs of the installation, mm. and all these elements they are collages of, of from the museum material. And the colours they ask me specifically for the colours of Hermes collection from 2006. <laughs> That is our gallery of, of uh, New South Wales. Uh, first drawing, double drawing in 2014. The third block, the vista to the Wolo Wolo. And that's the And that's another one, which is all my international uh, art space residences in, in upstate New York. It is a fantastic place. They have got residences for. for Characters, architects, musicians, ballet dancers, writers, everybody. It's absolutely amazing. It was established by the architect. And first it was sculpture and sculpture art, but then grew. And then just like um, a, a, a gallery and the information center, all the cave to the, the entire park, which is huge. So they invited me to make the drawing for the the drawing was commissioned for the exhibition. The elements are of the nature around. And that's the uh, sunset. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, this drawing actually, what happens is white pigment always, but it takes it to the gallery. Actually, if you've got yellow light or orange light, it would be it, it somehow takes the color. And that's And that's my uh, wherever drawing. I make two notes huh? and then draw when people wear them. Mm -hmm. And the dog. This is a residency in California, in the Joshua Tree on the desert. And I made this series of comics uh, in Hard Flicks and, and Joshua Tree. So people were actually wearing my friends. 
comics and I was doing when they were <laughs> doing something else. <laughs> And that seems to be that art on the way it was. And so I killed the night as the art on Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it took too long. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> <laughs>